Let's face it, the silent treatment is one of the most uncomfortable things that a narcissist can do to you. So what is the most effective way into responding to the silent treatment? Watch the video because I'm going to reveal all of this. The silent treatment, let's face it, is one of the most uncomfortable things that a narcissist does. It leaves you bewildered, you don't know where you stand. It's really uncomfortable because you just don't know what's going on. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about what the most effective way to respond to a silent treatment is. And I'm gonna discuss tips and suggestions on how you can get your power back. And it's like, why? would you remove all communication and not be able to explain yourself like i mean why would somebody do that and that to me that's why i just say that it's quite an immature thing to do because two adults would just kind of talk to one another especially if you're in a partnership or relationship situationship family member you just kind of talk to one another you know and everybody knows where they stand and that's the healthier way of doing it but when someone is giving you silent treatment it's just like well you know what are you doing what are you trying to achieve but remember what it does do to you it, it kind of destabilizes you and you don't know where you stand which then gives the power back to the narcissist because they feel in control of the situation and then they can manipulate it and so you see this is why the silent treatment is done by narcissists because it is something that makes them feel superior. So the best way to go about building value is to not react to it, actually, is to not react. And by me saying not react, okay, is by responding in a different way. This is about putting the power back onto you. So while someone has removed that from you, you need to then pull it back onto you. The narcissist is giving you the silent treatment because they are unhappy with your poor level of value, okay? You are giving them no value, so they hate it. The narcissist would not dare give the silent treatment to a high value target, so clearly they see you as low value and, you, and basically what they're doing is they're implying you increase your value significantly to them if you are reacting okay so you need to respond by taking that away and giving that back to you how dare they decide whether you are high value or low value it's not up to them it's not their decision what you need to do is go away and increase your value do things that you value okay because when you're spending your time thinking about them and why they are giving you the silent treatment, why they are not talking to you, this, give, this lowers your vibration, lowers your energy. And what it does do is it destabilizes you and it makes you feel so rotten when actually it's you need to do things that you value that make you feel good and this is not you're not doing it to please them or you're not doing it to raise your value so that they come back this is about taking your power back so become interested in increasing your own value but but that by the time that the narcissist has contacted you again you have increased your value to such a high level that the narcissist will feel inferior. They will want you. They will the, the power will shift because they will see what you are doing and they will want you and what you are doing. They'll they'll want you. Okay, so by the time that they contact you, you're gonna be busy thinking about yourself and doing what it is that you want. Okay. So this is about you taking the control back and giving yourself that value. You see, they thought that if they are silent to you, if they are quiet, then they think that you are going to miss them, that you are going to want them, that you're going to, you know, be on your hands and knees, you know, doing what they want and begging them back. But actually, you need to take your power back. This isn't about anything else. It's not about you feeling inferior and about you not being good enough. That's not why they have given you the silent treatment because you're not good enough. Because in their mind, you have disappointed them. You're not giving them what they want. So maybe you've removed attention. Maybe you think about them differently. Maybe 
you know, you have done things for you that doesn't warrant actually a silent tumor. But, but with a narcissist, what they want to do is to control you, is they want to own you. They see you as property. They see you as someone that they can control and that they can manipulate so that they get their needs met. So when you don't play that game, they don't like it because you're not doing what they want you to do. And why would you? You're a human being, you are your own person. You are not someone that is enmeshed to the narcissist, although they would want that from you. That's not what you're, that's not what this is about. That's why they have gone silent on you. That's why they've ghosted you, they've removed all communication because you're not conforming. You're not doing what they want you to do. And that's why they remove it from you. And really the only way to be able to actually counteract the, the silent treatment is by concentrating on yourself. Like for example, if you have children with a narcissist and it's their turn to look after the children, like basically that weekend and they have gone silent, they've removed all communication. What I would say to you is don't rely on the narcissist to be that kind of good parent or to help you co-parent. That isn't going to happen. You really have to look after your own children's needs. Of course, they're going to be disappointed that the narcissistic parent isn't going to kind of turn up. They're not going to see them that weekend. But it's up to you to be able to change the energy of that situation, change it the way that it happened. Because, yes, the children are going to be disappointed, but actually the narcissist is showing themselves up because they're showing that actually that they don't care, that they don't value, you know, the relationship with their children. And I know that's a really harsh lesson for the child to learn, but ultimately, if you think about it, you're just, you're, you're protecting them. You, you don't want your child to grow up emotionally deficit or upset because this kind of happens later on. It's better that it happens now and that the child is able to learn actually what that person is like. So what you're doing ultimately is you are protecting yourself, your family, or whatever it is that you know you have with that narcissist and that they're giving you the silent treatment. It's about changing the narrative of the situation. The narcissist, even though they're not there, they wanna be able to control the way that you perceive it. So ultimately, if you really see through these behaviors as childlike, as something that, you know, that they do, then it will really help you in the long run. So guys, I really hope that this video helps to kind of get you to understand that narcissists are not going to change and why they behave the way that they do. Guys, please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you are someone that is looking maybe for some extra understanding or depth of understanding, please know that I do one-to-one -one consultations. Please see the description box below. And also I do a weekly journal club. Also please see the description box below for more details. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.